like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have Man bad down. luck for the that rest of the week. Too. We might now have conquered this Earth today, but there was a time when this planet was impossible for humans to fill and multiply. It wasn't so much about the climate rather than the animals that roamed this Earth. Yep, there have been even more terrifying and scary creatures than some of the most infamous dinosaurs on this planet. With this in mind, let's take a look at 10 of the most terrifying creatures that ever existed. Honestly, once you're done with this video, you'll be glad you didn't exist a couple million years ago. Let's begin. Number 10. Titanoba A regular snake is enough to send most of us scampering for safety, and the thought of encountering the largest ones today, the likes of pythons, anacondas, and cobras, leaves a few people shaken. But all these king-sized serpents are no match to the Titanoba, the biggest snake to have ever lived. Researchers are lost as to how huge this reptile was as its vertebrae has been scattered in a couple of far apart places. But as per approximations, the Titanoba is thought to have weighed over 2,000 pounds and had an approximate length of 40 feet. That's a whole new level of scary, right? Good thing these monstrous reptiles went extinct several million years before our ancestors ever hit the scene. For its habitat, the Titanoba chose the South American rainforests. Scientists believe the warm climate here played a role in aiding these snakes to reach their massive sizes. Its hunting tendencies were more like the anacondas of today. They crushed prey by wrapping themselves around the animal. With over a ton in weight, you can bet that that grip was fatal to any animal alive at that time. Number 9. Megalodon Aside from being the biggest and deadliest sharks, megalodons are also one of the largest fish to ever exist in history, with an insatiable craving for flesh. They have jaws lined with 276 teeth, wide enough to swallow two adult men standing side by side like it's nothing. And each tooth is capable of delivering a bite force that is 138 times stronger than a man. To put it this way, the great white sharks, which are the largest meat-eating sharks that exist today, attack over 100 humans per year. How much more would it be for another known to be more ferocious with size three times longer than the largest great white? If the megalodon were still around, just forget snorkeling, outdoor swimming, and your next surfing picnics because the ocean would definitely be off limits. But don't be glad just yet because these big bad boys, which we believe died out 2.6 million years ago, have been reportedly sighted in several parts of the world, even on Google Maps. Number 8. The Gigantosaurus the Gigantosaurus was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs. It roamed modern-day Argentina during the late Cretaceous period, around 99.6 to 97 million years ago. For a long time, the Tyrannosaurus rex, also known as the king of the dinosaurs, was thought to be the largest carnivorous dinosaur. Today, Gigantosaurus is believed to have been slightly larger than the T-Rex, even though Gigantosaurus is ranked behind Spinosaurus in size amongst the meat-eating dinosaurs. First described in a 1995 study in the journal Nature, Nature, Gigantosaurus was at the time thought to be the largest carnivorous dinosaur. Researchers estimated that this specimen analyzed was up to 41 feet from head to tail and weighed between 6.6 .6 to 8.8 .8 tons. Not only large, but quite fast as well. Models suggest that the Gigantosaurus could run up to 31.3 miles per hour, according to a 2001 article in the journal known as Acta Paleontologica Polinica. Any faster and the animal would lose its stability and fall over, much like myself when I decide to run. Number 7. Andrew Sarkis Hippos are already quite terrifying animals. Even though they are vegetarians, they have incredibly strong jaws coupled with a short temper and have been known to bite crocodiles in half. Now imagine a large hippo with the same or even greater bite force, a possibly shorter temper but has the appetite for meat. The Andrusarchus is thought to be the largest meat-eating land mammal known to have ever existed. This is even though only its skull has ever been found, which was measured at 33 inches long. If their impression is correct, the Andrusarchus was 6 feet high and 16 feet long. It had long, strong jaws which it used to eat a variety of foods. It would have weighed about 1,800 pounds, with a guess to be able to exceed that range and perhaps be over 2,200 pounds possibly. It was thought to have moved slowly and wasn't really an excellent hunter, so scientists think it was a scavenger. It was also probably an omnivore and took advantage of eating plants when meat became scarce. Interestingly though, this animal is an ungulate, animals from which hippos and whales evolved. 
Number 6. Pelagornis sandersi With a wingspan of about 21 feet, the Pelagornis sandersi was nearly twice the width of a wandering albatross, the living bird with the greatest wingspan at 12 feet. That ginormous wingspan makes it the largest bird to have ever existed. It lived about 25 million years ago. The first fossils, a skull plus some wing and leg bones, were found in Charleston, South Carolina in 1983. The specimen was so large that it had to be dug out with a backhoe. Its beak possessed bizarre tooth-like spikes that lined the upper and lower jaws, revealing the bird was a previously unknown species of Pelagornithid, an extinct group of giant seabirds known for having unique teeth. They are very conical and pointed, which suggests that they were used for piercing prey. The most likely source of food for these birds was fish and squid near the water surface. At 88 pounds, many would think that these birds couldn't fly, which is partially true. Number 5. Super Crocs The name Super Croc, Killer Croc, or Mega Croc, as you deem fit, was given to any of the crocodilian species that ruled the ecosystem about 100 million years ago. And that includes the Sarcosuchus from Africa and South America, estimated at 37 feet and 17,000 pounds, the Dinosuchus from North America at 18,000 pounds, and the Persosaurus from Amazon that could extend up to 39 feet at a whopping 22,000 pounds. Super Crocs preyed on mighty dinosaurs like the large large duck-billed Hadrosaurus and Spinosaurus. They also fed on theropods, which belong to a dino family that includes even the almighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. But while Megalodons would only drive you out of the water, Super Crocs would keep you both away from it and anywhere on land near it because they are well adapted for hunting in both places. When experts tried to simulate how deadly they were, these massive predators could break down the bones of a fully grown cow and metallic chain in a single bite. Number 4. Smilodon the Smilodon could pretty much induce the same fear as modern-day big cats like the tiger and lion. But interestingly, it isn't related to any of these formidable predators, except for its love for meat. The Smilodon was slightly more built than most big cats today, which was an important adaptation for hunting. With the stocky build, it had the right amount of muscle power to wrestle down the likes of bison and camels, which made up a big part of its diet. This love for big prey has been suggested as the likely reason for the extinction of these cats about 10,000 years ago. Among the saber-toothed cats, Smilodon is most known for a long pair of upper canine teeth that could grow up to 30 centimeters in the biggest species. Nevertheless, the seemingly dangerous teeth didn't play a central role in the cat's hunting. In fact, they were too brittle for any serious struggle with prey. As mentioned, the Smilodon used its powerful forelimbs to subdue prey before engaging their conspicuous canines. Number 3. Atercopus Spiders aren't exactly a size that is chilling, but the venomous nature of some spiders is enough of a scare. It's not uncommon for someone to get startled once they notice a spider crawling just a few inches away. But enough with spiders, over to scorpions. These can be found virtually anywhere, although just a small number of species is venomous. All of them have that characteristic forward curved stinger. Now, how about a combination of these two, the spider and the scorpion? That's what you get in the Atercopus. This terrifying arachnid had eight spider-like legs, and it is thought to have produced silk thanks to a couple of silk glands. To top it all off, the Atercopus also had a scorpion-like tail. Imagine such a creature crawling towards you. Even cringier was that it was venomous. Just like the select spiders and scorpions, the Atercopus is thought to be close to the ancestors of modern-day spiders and crawled around 300 190 million years ago. You should definitely be glad this thing doesn't exist anymore. Number 2. Huge Dragonflies The largest insect known to have ever lived on Earth resembled a dragonfly, but these supersized dragonflies were nothing like the harmless present-day dragonflies we see today. Fossils discovered in 1880 and later periods up to 1939 were reconstructed and gave a clearer image of the prehistoric insect. Scientists named the insect they discovered the Meganeura due to their characteristic large nerves on their wings. They were the frightening predators that ruled the skies during their time, 300 million years ago. They inhabited the edge of water bodies where they would prey on smaller insects and amphibians, where they are now 20 times larger than their present-day relatives. They had powerful mandibles and spiny legs for grabbing and holding larger prey that would attempt to struggle. And because their wings spanned a little under a meter long, they were able to fly with their prize to a safe place where they could enjoy their meal. It seems unlikely that these huge dragonflies would have enjoyed human meat, but we can't say that they wouldn't have been a giant bother. I mean, how do you even swat such a bug without a tennis racket? 
Number 1. Megalania Finally, we have this terrifying monster that roamed the Earth. Tales of fire-breathing dragons probably came from the Megalania, reckoned to have been the largest monitor lizard to have crawled the Earth. They were giant goannas native to ancient Australia, only vanishing as recently as 50,000 years ago. The earliest aboriginal communities most likely encountered these 18 feet long, 1300 pound goannas. It's not likely, however, that the giant lizards attacked or ate the early men. They were believed to have subsided mostly on large animal groups like giant kangaroos and other mammals, which were valid prey choices for such large meat eaters. There was minimal competition for the position of apex predator. Perhaps only the large territorial crocodiles would have given the Megalania a run for their money in that regard. Still, their sheer sizes and large mouths lined with sharp serrated teeth, a long forked tongue oozing with bacteria-filled saliva, and very sharp claws accessorizing their muscular legs made these ancient lizards capable of causing serious damage with an attack. So, tell us, which one of these would you have been fine with if they existed now? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.